Okay, so out of the box, the uh, King Kong 95 GT comes with Betaflight 3.0.1 and Multi-Shot enabled. And if you want to use D-Shot, you have to upgrade to at least Betaflight 3.1. So we're going to upgrade to the latest Betaflight in this video and set up D-Shot. And I'll go ahead and I'll put in all of the settings you need to get this back up and running again. So you want to go to the firmware flasher. And you want to select the correct board, which is the SP Racing F3 board. Get the latest version, and I believe you want to set the manual baud rate to 115-200. Go ahead and load it, and then we'll flash. Okay, so once you've successfully flashed the board, uh, you want to go in and connect to it, and you can see that we're now in Betaflight 3.1.7. Go ahead and I'll calibrate the accelerometer. And we'll check our ports tab here. Now, uh, this is the FlySky version I have, and if you have a uh, FreeSky receiver, it's probably on UR2 for Serial RX. So uh, I'm going to enable that here because it was enabled before, but um, it's not going to do anything for me because my, my receiver is a PPM receiver. But if you have a FreeSky receiver, you should check your settings before you flash and, and make sure you copy them over to uh, the new configuration. Over here then, and under configuration, I'm going to uh, enable DSHOT 600. And uh, for me, I have uh, a PPM receiver, so I'm gonna leave that on. I'm gonna turn off RSSI. Going to turn off VBAT monitoring because that doesn't work on this board and current monitoring. And I'm going to change my gyro and PID to four and two and turn my accelerometer off. I don't need telemetry. And even though black box um, can work on this. I think there's eight megabytes of black box data. I don't really use that, so I'm going to turn that off. Turn off the transponder, and I turn on air mode. And under fail safe settings, I'll usually only change throttle to hold and then the guard time to five. And under pin tuning, I'm going to just stick with the defaults here. I'm going to change my super rate to 75. Um, and then I'll have to probably retune this because it, it, it'll fly, uh, the PIDs on, on Betaflight 3.1 are different from Betaflight 3.0. And under receiver, I'm just going to put in my dead band and make sure you check your channel map and then plug in your receiver and make sure your channels are working properly. And under modes, I have uh, switch arming, and I'm going to put that under aux one. If you want to set up um, angle mode, horizon mode, then you do that here. Yep, and that's pretty much it for getting this up and running on Betaflight 3.1 with DShot 600. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.